Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Poor Choices Show. Hope everyone's having a great week. I'm your host, Chris, as always, joined by my co-host, David. Welcome back, everybody. We made it to three. Made it to three. Now let's make some poor choices. Pretty cool. That's not warm. <laughs> <sighs> oh, fuck. All right, so Mr. David, what are you drinking today? What's the beer of the week? I have a Bumbleberry by Fathead Brewery. Fathead's Brewery. It's a honey blueberry ale. Uh, malt beverage brewed with honey and blueberries. Uh, claimed to be the most refreshing beer in America. Award-winning. Big claim. Yeah, that's by Brewing News Global. Warming open. I don't. I don't know what all that means. It says brewed with plump blueberries and honey stolen from some very angry bees. This is a highly refreshing ale with delicious blueberry aroma and a hint of sweetness on the finish. Beneath okay. that, it says, "Chill out, man. Have a beer." Okay, is that a, a Florida brewing company? Or it said it said Nations. Best yeah. is that what it said? Well, it said America's, but most refreshing in America. I'm not sure. Um, Middleburg Heights, Ohio. If you had to like before you drink this most refreshing beer in America, if you had to choose hot, hot July day in Florida to be your most refreshing beer that you could get from the store, what would you what would you say you'd go for? Before I try this. Before you try that, like what, like you going for like a lining kugel or like a? I do like me some summer shandy, um, or like a Bud Light orange or something like that. No, mm-hmm. no, probably go with the summer shandy. Yeah, that's a good choice. Let's see yeah. if this tops it. Let's see it. it says it. It says it will. It's good. It is, is it good. refreshing. It is refreshing. It's refreshing. Okay. All right. It kind of reminds me of, do you remember that one beer I had on tap a while back? Uh, I don't remember which one it was. One of the blueberry ones. Kind of like that. Is it a sour? No, just a wheat ale. It might have been that, uh, the Sea Dog. Remember when I had that one? I do. Yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. think that's what it was. Okay. I don't think anything will beat that uh, that blueberry lemonade shandy we had. That might be the most refreshing. Yeah, that yeah. one lasted like an hour. It was so good. Yeah, so it good. was great. But it was only, you only got what, like quarter keg or whatever that small size one is? Yeah. But it still should have been, I think, like 60 some beers. So, gone. That might, gone. yeah, that might have lasted yeah. us the weekend. So, how about you? What are you drinking on? Um, I have a, it's called Orange Crush. So, it's, it, it's not like a vodka, it's, it's, it's a beer. Uh, it's American wheat beer with wildflower honey, so we're both on the honey train, and sweet orange peel, uh, brought to you by the good folks at Springs Ale Works in Tampa, Florida. So, homegrown. Right down the street. I, uh, see what we get. Ooh, right off the bat, super orange-like. Like, you ever, like, squeeze the rind of, like, an orange and, like, see all that citrus shoot out? Yeah. Usually it gets on your eyes when like you're that, trying to put yeah. it on your food. Yeah. It was that first initial boom. And then it's okay. pretty, Are we, like, pretty subtle mango after cart? that. Are we, like, mango cart or blue moon or shock I would say or... closer to blue moon. It's a little more ale than mango cart. Okay. But it's very good. I kind of wish I had a fresh orange right now to put in it. It would be perfect with that. Where are we putting it on a scale of one to ten? Uh, it's a solid. It's solid. I'm gonna say. I mean, I could drink a few of these. Let me show the can off here. Pretty cool little can there. Mm, um, that I looks could good. probably say it's an eight and a half. It's great. Ooh, okay, okay. If you gave it a fresh orange in there, nine easy, easy. All right. Can you tell me the last teams that these NFL players played for? I'm going to try my best. Let's go. First one's going to be Michael Vick. Uh, New York Jets? Nope. Not the Jets. You're close. Um, well, I, I say you're close. You're close as in that's another forgotten team that he played for prior yeah. to this team. 
Where did he go after that? Um, your clue is you should know. Was he a stealer? He was a stealer. That was the last uh, team he played for. That I rings, a, that rings a, a little, 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 little bell. Yeah. 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 Next one's going to be Randy Moss. Hey. Can you say the Raiders? No. I think that was the first place he went after the Vikings. And then he went to the Patriots. Right. There's another team after that? There is, because I think even before this, he went back to the Vikings. Wasn't he with them when Favre broke that touchdown record? I don't know. Or when he threw his 500th or something like that? I vaguely remember that. Did he actually play, or did they just sign him? He No, he did play. I didn't get the stats, but I did look to make sure that they actually played. All right, I'm going to need a hint. Well, AFC. Away. NFC. It's NFC. NFC. Is it same division as, as the Vikings? It's not. It's, it's not. West. Okay. Uh, was he a... I went with all the West and... You was watched them Hawk? recently. No. It's a 49er? He was a 49er. I don't remember that at all. Uh-uh. No. The next one's going to be Wes Welker. Yeah. Did I already say the team? When I was no. guessing Randy? No. Okay. No. Nope. Uh, Wes... My clue for this would also be you should know, but in a different way. See a cowboy? No. Nope. That would be nope. I should know. I'm going to need more. Who did you root for when I first met you? Oh, he was a Ram, huh? He was a Ram. Were they still in St. Louis? He, uh, I'm going to say yes. Okay. All Who right. else you got? All right. The next one is going to be Devin Hester. See, it's, it's tough because they probably signed these one years and like you just didn't even pay attention to it. Same division as Bears? No. Same conference? Yes. Okay. Uh, Hester. Where would Devin Hester go to turn kicks? So I'll say this this isn't a clue, but it's interesting that you didn't even think to go here. Before he played for this team, he played for the Ravens. I do remember that, but... Okay. You just knew that wasn't his last one? I knew he... Went somewhere. At least I think I knew he did. Um, how about the Eagles? Nope. He was a Seahawk. I was going to say the Seahawks. Yeah, no one remembers that. He doesn't even remember that. All right. Your next one's going to be Andre Johnson. Mm, nothing. He was a Titan. Okay. Your next one's going to be Steven Jackson. Oh, big Steve. Did he go to Pittsburgh? Um, I don't believe so. He certainly no. didn't finish there. Buffalo? No, he was a Patriot. Close. Okay. I, I, Close. I pictured him up northeast somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, you should get this one. The next one is Ed Reed. Uh, Houston? No, after there. Oh, so he went to the Jets after Houston. Yeah. Ah, I thought it was Jets, Houston. Okay. All right, your next one's going to be Fred Taylor. Not uh, as in, it's like, not, what a bad no, player, no, no, but, I like, get, I, I haven't thought of thought Fred of, Taylor yeah. since Nam. Like, okay. Um, yeah. You know, Fred, he wanted to stay in Florida. He went to Miami. Nah, he did the opposite and went up to New England to be a Patriot. Oof. Okay. Man, a lot of these guys go into the Patriots. Okay. Yeah. All right, your next one's going to be Jamal Charles. I knew he was a Patriot. Uh, Jamal Charles... He was in Baltimore. Was that his last team? I'm going to say Baltimore. No, I, I don't know if he ever was there, but I've. if he was, there's two after that. Jamal ended in Detroit. No, you should have no. stuck with, with your uh, your mm. train of thought from the last one. He ended up as a as a Jag. Oh, and wow. prior to okay. that, he was a Bronco. Hmm. None of these. The Fred Taylor one. I I remember him. Yeah, that was he's kind of the outlier. I feel like. Yeah. All right, and your last one's going to be Chad Johnson. Chad Johnson. Ocho. Ocho went to Carolina. He, no, he went up there with Fred and Stephen Jackson. Damn. Every one of them's going to New England. Well, wouldn't you? I mean, Brady was there. Yeah. How much do you know about baby pandas? It's not a trick question. It's not a loaded question. It's just 
I'm uh, nothing. Is that the safe? They're they're black and white. Point twelve percent about baby pandas. Okay. So, did you know that a panda mother won't kill her baby directly, but that if she has twins in the wild, she will leave the weaker one to perish and choose to raise the stronger cub. And the reason for that is that they don't have sufficient milk or energy to care for two cubs. I feel like that's probably not the only species that does that. It might not be, but I don't know. I feel like pandas are kind of rare. So the survival rate of baby pandas in the wild is 60%. Is that not good? I mean, just over half of baby pandas survive. I don't know in relation to other species, but that doesn't seem very good. I don't know, because, I mean, man, the nature's nature's a bitch. Like, there's not a lot of things that are guaranteed, you know what I mean? Right. And apparently they're, they're very much hit-it-and-quit-it kind of animals. It says the mating season is in spring between March and May. Males and females usually usually associate for no more than two to four days. So how did you stumble upon this? What is what what brought about the the panda baby? Uh, I think we were watching a show, and in the show they had said something about pandas killing their their babies, and I was like, "Is that a real thing?" And but I looked not, it like, up. They're not like killing them; they're just taking care of another right, one yeah, over indirect. that one. Yeah, that's right. They're not. Like, I mean, if they eating it, if they were citizens in America, they would be charged with negligent homicide. Well, so it sounds like we need to uh, start a panda adoption agency and uh maybe in can name it startup panda emic oh that's what we can call the rescue a panda uh, i was going with panda d-u-h panda oh. yeah i don't know it makes them sound retarded <laughs> uh yeah i don't remember what we were watching but i saw that and i was like we should talk about that. We should not talk that I about thought that. you wouldn't no. know much about pandas, no. but I figured that was I had nothing interesting enough to let the eight people that listen to us hear. Okay. Well, so if if you all know about baby pandas more than me, there you go. Let us know. All right. So I want you to name the first person you think of when I say the first name. You're going to say the last name to complete the question. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. All right, so name name the first person you think of when I say the name Ben. Dover. <laughs> okay. Michelle. Pfeiffer. Oh. Daniel. Radcliffe. Big. E. Smalls. Oh. Okay. That's all I got. That was pretty That's good. That's all I got. Okay. I mean, I could have done a bunch more names, but I... I uh. The big, I was like, I thought he was going to say, like, the big show or the big hurt or... If you said the big, I I probably would have uh, the show. okay. I like the... The big. Iggy Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I had... Second thought is, like, Papa, but... Also, okay. Michelle Pfeiffer, what a... That was from the bench. Wow. Yeah, I don't, don't know why Do you know who that hour. is? <laughs> uh, I think she's an actress now. She is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I wanted to start a segment until at least we work it all the way through of how each NFL team got their name. I figured we'll do one division per episode until we make it all the way through. Okay. I figured we'll start with the AFC East. Okay, so... So, do you know how the Buffalo Bills got their name? I want to say it's based off of somebody named Bill and not the animal. Okay, you're you're right. Okay, but not just like it's not just like some dude named Bill. It's like so what the I founder is. No, not so much. Buffalo's team in the All America Football Conference in 1946 was the Bison's. In 1947, a contest was held to rename the team. Which was owned by James Brule. Brule, um, we'll leave it at that. Of the Frontier Oil Company, the winning entry suggested the Bills, reflecting on the famous Western frontiersman Buffalo Bill Cody. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right, 
The next one is the Dolphins. Do you know how the Dolphins got their name? It seems like it should be obvious because they're in Florida. There's dolphins in the ocean around us. Bing, bam, boom. Fish. So out of almost 20,000 entries to the contest, nearly 600 people suggested dolphins as the team name. Joe Robbie, owner of the team, said he liked dolphins as the name because he stated, the dolphin is one of the fastest and smartest creatures in the sea. Huh. And it also, and it, you know, you're in Florida. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that was, you know, he, they probably narrowed it down by, okay, what's what's relevant to Florida, and then... Well, the funny part is, is, is my elementary school mascot. I don't know if all elementary <laughs> schools have mascots. Uh, huh. uh, I, I know we had colors. I don't remember a mascot. Ours was the Dolphins. And this is in, in the Farm- middle Farmville. Maryland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was a brand new elementary school just got built. Um, and they voted, mm-hmm. they put a vote out. It was either going to be the Eagles or the Dolphins. And the Dolphins won. All right. The next one is going to be the Jets. Uh, is it because of like LaGuardia and like, you know, airports and travel and all that's going right there? Five-man syndicate headed by Sonny Werblin saved the team from a certain bankruptcy purchasing the lowly Titans for $1 million in 1963. Werblin renamed the team to the New York Jets since the team would play near LaGuardia Airport and because it rhymed with New York Mets as they would be playing in Shea Stadium. So, so yeah, you were right. If they would have stayed as the Titans, possibly we'd the still, Oilers, we'd had the Tennessee probably, Oilers maybe. Probably, and which I think they were the Oilers for the first year they were in Tennessee. Okay, I could, yeah. Fun fact. All right, and lastly is the Patriots. Do you have any idea? Well, good old uh, Plymouth is up there, right? Like the founding area of the country, and that's yeah. kind of my, my best guess is, you know, if you're a Patriot, you love your country, and that's where it, not the country was founded, but where it was basically discovered and established so that's what i'm going with all right so you're right i think there's a little more story behind it so it says when billy sullivan bought the rights to the boston-based afl football team in 1959 he was not the first to bring pigskin to beantown at least three (laughs) football teams had already run through the city so in reverence to foxborough's location between boston and providence the patriots were renamed the new england patriots underscoring the team's importance to the region as a whole Originally located in Boston, the team was named the Patriots because of the area's heritage as the birthplace of the American Revolution. I'll be honest, all I really have been thinking about is that great pork and beans reference, pigskin to bean to town. To bean town? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was so great. I wish I wish they would have stayed as the Bay State Patriots because seeing BS Patriots throughout Tom Brady's career would have been great. Just, just fucking bullshit every time you watch them. Yeah, yeah. If you guys didn't know, uh, David and I really don't like Tom Brady. Not that we don't, eh, no, we don't like him. Uh, no, we don't like him. I think overrated is a a good word for not it. Not that he's not a phenomenal, all-time quarterback. great quarterback. He's just not agreed. the best. Agreed. A thousand percent agreed. And we could talk about that for probably 40 minutes, but we're not going to do that. So uh, that would be... That would be a season, let alone Let us podcast. know if, if you want us to uh, to uh, have a Don't. little Tom Brady hate segment, but it's just going to make you sad realizing how truthful it is that he's not the GOAT. Anyways. Exactly. Or, if you're one of the eight people that watch us, maybe you can come on and try to convince us why he is. There's been many have tried. Many have tried. Not on here, obviously, but throughout our yeah. ende- endeavors, so to speak. Uh, yeah, that was always that was always the other person's poor choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now nine times out of ten, they were Patriots fans. Every well, now and then, a, everybody's a Tom Brady fan. Well, uh-huh. it's like fucking LeBron. That's another. I like LeBron. That'll be season three. Fuck LeBron. <laughs> All right, let me hit you with something I yeah. got here. Let's see. All right, so I've I there's a, a channel that I watch and they um they get celebrities to come on and these celebrities will it's a it's a cooking channel um and they will say 
you're watching the Food Network? And <laughs> what they're at to to an extent, um, what their 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 last meal would be. Now, when you think of last meal, you typically probably think like, you know, one one dish, right? Uh, but this is more along the lines of it's your last time eat. to eat and you have like a whole day or a day or two to eat it and, and you can pick any and all dishes that you want. But then once you're done. So you're basically picking your daily menu, not just a, a meal. Uh, let's let's limit it to say, let's say six dishes. But you, but you, but you can choose between desserts, entrees. I mean, whatever you think it's going to be. But if you had to pick. Your last meal, meaning yes. three, four, five, six dishes, desserts, side items, so whatever, like, whatever they are, what would they be? We're talking like thanks Thanksgiving. It's a meal, but it's like Thanksgiving style serving. It's, it's a dish, one dish. So like when you think of like, oh, you're on, la- you're on, you know, death, death row. row. It's not just like macaroni and cheese. It's like. Maybe max aside, but what's the entree, and then what's my appetizer? Not necessarily. And... One entree could be lobster. One entree could be steak, and another one could be a burger from McDonald's. I mean, okay, but it's all one meal. It's not like one day's worth of meal. No, no, it could be. It's more than just one sitting of food. I mean, you could. Okay, but it's your last. Like, I want all this stuff for my last bruja. Like, this is it. So I'm getting all this. This is my. These are my favorite things. Okay. Am, so you, so I'm you don't you don't like, have a am you, I, don't, you don't have a limit. Am I dying after? Like, is this my? It's the last food you'll ever like, eat. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Fair. So to give you a little bit of a, like uh, some some help or. <laughs> Some insight into it. They had, um, they have a bunch of people. I think Gordon Ramsay was on there at one point, but he would have, you know, he had a, a dessert, one of his favorite desserts. He had, gosh, I really wish I could remember what he had. Um, that's a bad example because I don't remember. That's all right. <laughs> but, all right, but, so I'm just several putting together things. a whole smorgasbord. Right, right. So you're sitting at the head okay. of your table and you just got your whole table full of your favorite meal, meals sides, appetizers, okay. desserts, whatever you want it to, an icy from 7-Eleven, whatever you want it to be. What okay. would you load yourself up with? Well, I think the first thing I would do is crack open a Fat Heads Brewery award-winning Bumbleberry Honey Blueberry Ale. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Sponsor us. <laughs> uh, does a drink count as a as part of the meal or... Do I also get a drink? Yeah, I mean, if you yeah. think it's again, these are things is it that like are like six things and a drink, or these are your things it... that. Well, it's not just like oh, I need a drink because I'm eating. It's your favorite things of all time. Okay. The first thing we're gonna put down is bottomless mimosas. Excellent. Okay. Because I am gonna need something to drink. Okay, I love that. That's a great answer. Let's get into that food realm now. Yeah. Man, I don't even know where to start. Come on, as a former fat kid, come on. I'm still a fat kid. I'm I'm gonna need some pancakes. I uh, know. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Well, You're I was mid- debating between French toast, but if it's if it's the end of the end. If I know Michael, I'm gonna live longer, I'm taking French toast. But if now it's... granted, you can you can do it up. You could do some fucking stuffed French toast. You could do pancakes made from No. no. Just okay. give me just give me pancakes. some. Some good old flapjacks, yeah. No, no, not, no blueberries, no chocolate chips. Butter and just, syrup and have a good day. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. What do I like to eat? Fuck everything, dude. If it's not peas no, or no. fucking lima beans or something, then the I'll answer's eat anything. not everything. Is you get your choice of your. This is the last time you're going to eat hmm. food, and these are the things that you want to eat. I knew you were going to say pancakes. That's I know for sure. you did. You know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's my shit. There's one other that I think you might possibly say, but we'll see. Is it dessert? No, and it's something that I don't like at all. I, it's probably oh. what I was going to say next, and I was going to ask if I need to classify or specify an individual or if I can just generalize. You're going to say sushi. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, you can just say sushi. And and then okay. you pick whatever. Like 75 different rolls. Okay. <laughs> one of each, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the other one you thought I was going to say? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got to throw. <sighs> Man, that's. I'm a... I got to throw pumpkin pie in there, I think. Wow. Are you talking like yeah. that shit from the can concentrate? Or are you talking like a gourmet or what are we talking here? Just like you run of the mill, just just gotta just gotta be good. It doesn't have cool to be whip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so what am I at? Four? You there's no limit. I mean it and until you're to the point I where you you're said like six. That's typically did what you they say did. Six things? Nah, oh, geez. You know, is, you know. We could we could we could sit here all day. I'm trying to think. There's a couple. There's a couple items that we'll see if you say them. We'll see. I need a a burrito. It's very general. I need more than I need a burrito. Um, just from like a chorizo burrito from some authentic Mexican restaurant. Nowhere in particular. Not like a Chipotle. Just a good old. You get the plate and it's just like doused in cheese and sauce and rice and beans. Well. I just had one of those uh, when we were uh, wherever we went. That shipping container food court area. Yeah, that was. Uh, I had a chorizo burrito, and it was the greasiest thing I've ever eaten in my life. It was like the the tortilla was clearer than my window, like, and it was it was great. It was really good. It was ground chorizo, so it wasn't like sliced like sausage right. style chorizo. No, ground's fine. I just it's got to be good. Okay. Okay. Um I, a margarita, I guess. Oh, so double it up After, on alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it's last meal and you're like, uh, I'm going to go with mimosas, margaritas. Well, if it's if it's my <laughs> last meal, I can't be hung over, right? Uh, so a four horsemen it is that. Okay. No, 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 no. That's Fuck you for that. <laughs> Motherfucker, I had PTSD from that shit. You want to tell them what a four horseman entails? Not particularly. It's I'm I'm still trying to think about what I want to eat here. I bet it's called bet other you. things in it different areas. Um well, even the the four things in it are subjective depending on who you talk to. That's very true. Well, because just think of a shot it's... that has well, it's more than a shot, but a drink that has a shot of the strongest liquor in the bar, basically, all in yeah, one. it's essentially four shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, not the tiger. All right, back to your food. What do you got? Uh, not just not some bacon, maybe some candied bacon. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great answer. Some, some pizza. Yeah, okay. Are we talking anywhere specific, uh, any type of no. pizza? Just pizza. Pizza? Chuck okay. E. Cheese. Give me Chuck E. Cheese Ooh, pizza. Oh, that's a sleeper right there. Underrated yeah, pizza. Give me that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Give me a sirloin from Texas Roadhouse. Not a filet, huh? No. Okay. More bang for your buck. Although I'm I guess not. I ain't going in debt. The bank ain't going to come get me when I'm dead, so sure, give me a filet. See, I'd rather a filet from Outback than a sirloin from Roadhouse. You can't get the filet as big as you want at Outback. Yeah, but they season their shit way better, and it tastes so much better than, than Roadhouse. Mm. Okay. Anyways. Uh, I I guess we'll call it there. I could sit here okay. and just name everything. I, M- McDonald's fries. Um, <laughs> a McFlurry. Right, cookie dough. Like You could just start naming yeah. shit. Yeah, give, yeah, me yeah. A, give me a Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, Racy I'll, have to, puffs. I'll have to send you the um, the link to uh, this little this little show that they do because it, it's pretty interesting. Because they they then not only discuss it, but they also make it. The guy hosting the show, he's a chef, so he yeah you know, he'll go over everything and make right. everything for him exactly how they want it. And it, it's pretty big name for the most part. People kind of like hot ones where they just kind of get like whatever name they can to show up and do it. You know what I mean? Right. Huh. Okay. Cool. Very good. Yeah, I could just sit here and fucking name <laughs> talk food all about day. food for twenty five minutes. Good. Can you tell me the hidden meaning in these logos? 
The first one is going to be the Milwaukee Brewers logo. So I know this one. is There's an M as the fingers and the B as the mitt with the ball in the middle. Milwaukee Brewers. Okay, we'll edit that one out. Go to go to game. No, two. you don't have to edit it out. Fuck. You know that from watching <laughs> makeshift. I just no, I just know it. I mean, look at it. It's an M and a B. Okay, I didn't know it until I watched their shit. All right, the next one is GameCube. Okay, so looking at it, the lines make a G, and there's a cube in the middle. Game cube. Okay, you're ninety percent of the way there. Whole thing's a cube. Also, it uh, is. Look at the look at the negative space. It's a question mark, sort of. Is it yeah. m- missing the dot? Uh, so I don't it's, know. It's, it's game. It's game. What? Oh, it's a C. It is a C. Oh, good job. Look at you. That's that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. This one you probably know. Yeah. The next 30, one is thirty-one. Okay. <laughs> next. <laughs> this one pe- you probably. Don't it's, know. It's peacock feathers, and there's that little thing with it's just the peacock speak in the purple there. Okay, so it has a couple of. <laughs> so the next one is NBC. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay. It has a couple of hidden meanings. It's okay. clear that it's a peacock, but yeah. why? When the logo was developed, color televisions were being introduced, explaining the rainbow of colors. And the network wanted a logo that would cause black and white TV owners to make the switch. So they went with the common phrase at the time, proud as peacock, promoting that they were proud of their new color system. The six different colors of the feathers represent the six different divisions of NBC. Which is exactly what I was going to say if you gave me a chance to say it, you know. No, you you said you were finishing on the the, the beak or some shit. <laughs> okay. All right, well, fuck you. You don't you don't know you don't know Cisco shit. So the next one see. is Cisco. Damn Let it. Let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Uh Is that like the twin towers think, in there? No. Don't. Uh you're 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 close but also not at all. And by not at all, I mean about 3500 miles. Is it like the R&B artist like Cisco like the spell, uh, no, that's spelled different. Okay, I think I don't know how the motherfucker spells his name. Well, this is the only one that I don't have any idea. Okay, so Cisco, the worldwide leader in networking for the internet, is named after its headquarters location in San Francisco. While its namesake doesn't have a hidden meaning, the blue stripes above the logo type not only represent an electromagnet but also the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, that's really cool. I can see it now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just thought that was just like a techie little like, you know, whatever. It is, but it's also San Francisco-y. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. That's pretty darn cool. Okay, I like that. All right, I got 10 trivia questions for you. As fast as you can, you got, let's call it five seconds to answer each one. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, you ready? Ready. All right, how many bones are in the human body? 168. 206. What galaxy do we live in? The Milky Way. Milky Way, correct. What are the five senses? Touch, taste, smell, see, and hear. What are diamonds made of? Carbon. Correct. What is a group of crows called? Murder. Correct. What food never spoils? Honey. Correct. Who gave the U.S. the Statue of Liberty? France. Correct. How fast can cheetahs run? 63 miles an hour. I'll take it. Up to 75. What famous wall is visible from space? Oh, that's that's not true. <laughs> uh, there isn't one. <laughs> All right. answer we're looking for is a gray wall, but we'll talk about that later. What percentage? We already of talked he- about that. What percentage of a human of the human body is made up of water? Oh, I think it's seventy. That's a good answer. It's sixty. What's the okay. capital of oh, China? You know what? I think I think I'm I think I'm thinking of Earth. I think Earth is seventy <laughs> percent water. Hey, we're there. We're on Earth, right? Yeah, fair enough. Okay. What's what's the capital of China? Oh, I don't know. Um, Shanghai. Uh, Beijing. That's, 
Okay. I think that's Japan, but we'll go with it. Shanghai is in China. Um, who's the lead? Who's the lead singer of the band Queen? Freddie Mercury. Correct. How many sides does a triangle have? <laughs> you could have led with this. Also, my next question: In what year? When? What year did Christopher Columbus first reach America? And the answer says 1942. <laughs> Where did you get these questions? I am on BuzzFeed. <laughs> Oof. Uh, I think it was... It, I mean, six, just mix those... 15? Mix, 16? No, no, no. Something? Mix those... Blank, 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 1496. Blank. Uh, Jesus Christ, 1469. 1649. David. 1694. What year, did, what year did Christopher Columbus sail the ocean blue? Mm-hmm. It rhymes with the year. Oh, yeah. I thought you said six. Um... 1492. 1492. <laughs> uh, what is the largest desert in the world? Sahara. Antarctica. How many co- how many colors are there in a rainbow? Is it an odd number? Yes. Nine. Seven. What's the capital? Ah, that was my other guess. What's the capital of Brazil? Sri Lanka. It's Brasilia. What is the chemical symbol for gold? A U. That's correct. What's the largest ocean on Earth? Pacific, to be specific. Which direction does the sun rise? East. That's all I got. Well done. That was good. That felt like twelve, and I, yeah, I also no, that was did that was like eighteen. Way better than I thought I would. <laughs> that Columbus one. That uh, I'm kind of upset about that. <laughs> well, they probably. Just... <laughs> I thought I don't know. I thought you said 1946 for some reason, so I was throwing out fucking six numbers. Okay, all right, we'll take it. <laughs> you know what the population of Antarctica is? Uh, well, there are people that live there. I'm gonna no, say I think it's zero. I gotta go to Google because you know there's like research stations. There's people there year round, kind of thing. Yeah. It might not be zero. It might just be something really fucking low. I feel like I just heard something about this recently. Uh, 4,400 people. <laughs> Sounds like CNN. This is on CIA.gov. <laughs> <clears throat> so they know. <laughs> they, they for sure know. Is there but a it, link to a Homeland Security website so, there? So, <laughs> it's, it doesn't have a native population, but on any given day, there's roughly 4,400 people in Antarctica. Oh, so it's not a population. They're just there. You know what? I bet you the population is zero because I bet you those people don't live there and they do like they kind of rotations. switch out. So right. that's, yeah. So that's not like their home of address. Yeah. Can you, uh, can I get that primed? Uh, I need that USB charger primed delivered yeah. to, uh, the white part. Yeah. I don't know. They have, they have, they have next year shipping to their, yeah, next year. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. How many words do you think there are in every book on Earth? Combined, total. Total. 600 trillion. So the estimation that I found was 9.75 trillion. Okay. How many insects do you think are on the Earth? Including Antarctica? Including Antarctica. There's probably like four there. <laughs> Um, three trillion. Okay, so it's one with nineteen zeros. It's a lot of bugs. How many grains of sand do you think there are on the Earth? A one with eighty-two zeros. It's seventy-five with seventeen zeros. How many ways do you think there are to shuffle cards? Oh, all I need is no, not that three. Not like. Meth, no, no, <laughs> not like methods. Like when you shuffle, how many different combinations can of you get? Cards, yeah. So all I need is my TI eighty three, and I could hit fifty two with the exclamation point, and I could tell you the answer. No, you couldn't. You oh. would need a lot of TI eighty threes. Really? Yep. Then fifty two exclamation guess, point is my answer. 
somebody do the math on that. that. Means. So the answer so that, is so eight? that means fifty two times fifty one times forty nine times forty eight times forty seven times forty six times forty and so on and so forth. You forgot you forgot fifty, but yes, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the answer is eight with sixty seven zeros. Might be the answer, David. It's the answer. But to put that to put that in perspective, there is one point three with fifty zeros atoms estimated to be on this earth. So there are more ways to shuffle cards than there are atoms in the world. So I was right. I had to Google it while you were saying the atoms thing. So it's a factorial, right? 52 factorial, which is that exclamation, yeah. which means multiplying 52 by 51 by 50 all the way down yeah, to I 1. Yeah, I told you that was a way to do it. Essentially meaning that a randomly shuffled deck has never been seen before and will never be seen again. Exactly. Uh, so if someone could rearrange a deck of cards every second of the universe's total existence, the universe would end before they would even get one billionth of the way to finding a repeat. It's a lot to think about. That's fucking insane. More than atoms on the earth. More than every word in every book in existence. Like like Adam Levine and like Adam... Uh... Including them. And yeah, the atoms they're made of. Adam's yeah. family. Wow. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Name another Adam. Isn't that fucking wild? Uh, Adam. That's Andy. Uh, Adam. Well, you don't know him, but I work with him. Adam <laughs> <No>. Wallace. <laughs> Adam Jones. Who's that? Oh. Sha- that's, yeah. Pac- that's Pac-Man. Oh. Uh, I was going with Adam. The, I was going with the. Well, Oriole center field, Adam Jones. Oh, oh well, yeah, and him. There's another yeah, yeah. one. Uh, Adam. 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 Get Adam. Get Adam. Anyways, I thought that was fucking wild, and that's a lot of fucking ways to shuffle a deck of cards. It's too many. It's a lot. Okay, so we're going to do a draft of, I don't know if we're going to call it your favorite or iconic uh, video game franchises of all time. With the first pick, I'm going to take Grand Theft Auto. That is such a good pick. Such a good pick. I don't know if it's the best, but out of the best, I think it's my favorite. Well, I mean, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to beat that. I'm I'm kind of torn between a couple here, uh, but I'm going to go with the Super Mario Brothers as my number one. Okay. I think that's the okay. most iconic franchise. Video game franchise, it has to be. It is. It's it's hard to dispute that. Now two, three, four, five. It's this is getting tough. This is where I'm getting a little. E. It's not. I don't think it's tough for me at all. Um, with my second pick, I'm going to take Pokemon. Wow. To include the Game Boy games, Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Snap. Wow. All encompassing. Okay. Well, then I'm going to stick with semi-similar area than my first pick. I'm going to go with The Legend of Zelda, or Zelda. I thought you might do that. Yeah, I had that, it's, it's, I had it's, that it's as tough well. not to. It's really tough not to. I mean, especially yeah. with the games that are coming out now, it's just getting better and better. So with my third pick, I'm going to take Super Smash Bros. Ooh, I didn't even think of that. That's not even on my list. That is a good that was, pick. That was the first one that popped up. When you texted me that, Oh or man. when I texted you that and you were like, that's good, I was like, yeah, that's that was the first one that popped up. Yeah, I know it's good. Wow. Yeah, I like that. Um, And you already took Grand Theft Auto, huh? That was numero uno. Well, my next is um, probably something you've never played. I think I know where you're going. But I'm going to go with um, Skyrim and or we'll call it the Elder Scrolls. But it's funny because I just recently for six ninety nine bought that game on my PS5 just to be like, it's been 10 years since I played this. The game holds up. The graphics do not, unless you do a lot of help to it. It was, it was, it was a rough, it was a rough go. It was a rough go. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, this is t- This is getting hard now. Okay, I don't, I don't know how it made it this far, but with number four, I think yeah. I'm gonna have to take Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, I almost did it right there, and uh, I just feel like 
You should have because you know nah. I wasn't gonna take I wasn't gonna take Elder Scrolls. You would have had that fifth. I could have, but I just feel like it deserves a higher rank than fifth. It really does. And okay, yeah, that was gonna be my next pick, so that throws me off. Now I got to play with my four and five here. Um, I hope I kind of hope you take my next one so I can throw out one of the outliers because I feel like the next one is pretty well. There's substantial. There is both one. Of our lives. There is one, but I didn't play it much and actually wasn't a big fan of it. So instead of taking that, which I think deserves a spot on certain people's lists, it's not going on mine. And instead, I'm going to go with Mortal Kombat. See, that was one of the outliers that I wanted to list. I'm going Mortal Kombat number four. Yeah. Okay. So good. Well, so good. I was hoping you wouldn't take that just because I wanted to hear it come out of my mouth, but I don't think I have any choice other than with the fifth round pick to take Madden. Was not going Madden. Was not going Madden. There's so many better. Been, there's so many better. Now I don't. It's I don't classic know that and it's been is. around for thirty years, forty years. But those games, I'm sorry, they're ass nowadays. You can't nowadays. We're talking throughout history. This is video game franchises, not video games of the last five years. So can we can we say a franchise is defined as more than one game? Correct. Yeah, I think so. I think if there's if there's two, I don't know. That's more like a sequel to me than a franchise. Even if a third is announced? Uh, I think <laughs> if a third's... I feel like you're trying to play me here. Yeah, because um, I'm, I'm between a couple, and I, and I want to go this one as long as you can classify it as a franchise for me. So my, my initial thinking was more than one, but then I started thinking like there's... I don't know... If, you can really say that's a franchise. All right, I'll I mean, skip can, it then, because I have a can, couple... We can Google it. I mean, I'm interested. I think you probably know what it is. It can't It can't give you too much credibility if there's only a couple of them. You're all right, girl. I thought that's where you might be going, and when when we initially talked about this, I thought about that, and I was like, I don't know if that's... It's gray. Right. I'll let you take it. No, 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 no. If it's gray, I won't take it because I have others. I'd no, rather... you could take it. No, I ain't okay. gonna take it. Okay. <laughs> For those who don't know, okay. that that was a Red Dead Redemption reference. Um, so instead, I, had, I have two residuals here, and I'm hoping you say one of them. Well, my fifth overall pick in the franchise video game draft is going to be Resident Evil. That was one of them. Freaking love I'm those I'm so games. glad you did that. Okay. So glad you did that. The other one that I had it's as gotta a be, backup got to was... be Halo, right? No, I, I had Halo initially, but oh, I didn't okay. play it, so I didn't feel comfortable saying it, but it was Street Fighter. Oh, not even on my list. Um, all I had yeah. left, hold on, let me reload my phone, um, was Fallout and Assassin's Creed were the only other two I had left. Yeah, I didn't even think of Fallout. That was a good one. Yeah, I was trying to think of ones that I've played. I didn't want to throw anything in there that I didn't play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Halo was on there. Um, it's another one I had on there. Did you just say Assassin's Creed or did that yeah. just pop in my head? Yeah. Okay. Well, let there me know another if one. you guys think that Red Dead is a franchise. Because the third has been announced. And one and two, I mean, two was basically a game of the year game. God of War beat it, but still. I mean, I still play yeah. that game. I still play Red Dead too. I love I'm that gonna, game. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it probably is. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna hit you with these rapid fire, this or that's. Quick in succession. You ready? Do it. Got it. Let's go. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Vacation or staycation? Vacation. Rock or rap? Rap. Bright colors or black and white? Black and white. City or country? Country. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Surprises or plans? Plans. Big party or small party? Small party. And that's all I got? That's it. You happy with those answers? I think so. All right. I have some would you rathers. Would you rather be an unknown Major League Baseball player or a famous badminton star? 
unknown baseball player. Care to elaborate? I just always dreamed of a baseball player as a kid. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's simple enough. <laughs> Would you rather live without the internet or live without AC and heat? Uh, I'm going to go. Mm, I'm going to go with the internet. Live without yeah. the internet? Okay. So what would you be doing while you're sitting inside the AC and heat? I wouldn't be. I'd be in like my I'd I I I'd be in my like off grid cabin in like Alaska, like working on my land and you know. That doesn't have AC or heat. No, it does because I don't have internet. Right, but it doesn't because you're off the grid. Yeah, I got a wood stove and I've got I'm in Alaska, I don't need cold. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, shit. Okay. That's that's fair. That's that's not a so I took that as like electric. So oh, then if you were in a world without AC and heat, you could still generate heat with fire right. and live in the tundra. Nah, I just get some solar panels and mm-hmm. you know, uh like a, a water wheel. No, you can't it's not it's not no electricity, it's oh no AC or heat. So you, the solar panels I'm going no be... internet. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Would you rather know all the mysteries of the universe or know every outcome of every choice you make? I love the way your face just looks. <laughs> mysteries of the universe. <laughs> mysteries of the universe. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Because there's so many and they're so impactful to like humankind and just humanity and like Yeah. Yeah. That's true, but there's so many choices you're going to make and yeah, they're yeah. so it doesn't make life to your doesn't make life, life as directly. fun if you know what's going to happen every time you do something well it doesn't make the world as fun if you know all its mysteries oh i i disagree <laughs> okay okay next is would you rather win the lottery or live twice as long how much of a lottery win i don't know 500 million but when you live twice as long We'll say it's like, like you're not age a lot slower. Like say you're gonna live. No, you're just like say you instead of living to eighty and then living two hundred and sixty and like aging that way. Say you age to like, like your first life is eighty. You age to like forty, right? And then you just live out the next hundred and twenty as your forty. Ooh, I'd do that, but not over win the lottery. If we're talking right now in twenty twenty four. I'd take the lottery because I don't want to be alive into the 2100s. And I think it's going to be bad. But if we're talking like back, yeah, I'd, I'd do it. I'd do that instead of the money. Okay. Well, that's a perfect transition into this next okay. question. Would you rather experience the beginning of planet Earth or the end of planet Earth? Well, the beginning, just because if it's the end, I know I'm going to die. At least if it's the beginning. Right, but what are you going to do? Just fucking hang out with yes. dinosaurs. Well, no, there, no, there run for, there run wasn't for any, your life. You're gonna die any humans anyway. on when dinosaurs are walking around. I'm, I'm gonna go. You're saying beginning of Earth or beginning of humanity? No, I, yeah, not humanity, not humanity. Oh. The beginning. So of when planet it's just Earth. like microorganisms and like there's still like volcanoes everywhere and there's just nothing. Yeah, I mean, you get. Oh, so, I'm gonna go with see the end then. Okay, well, we'll we'll make it we'll make it a little. A little more thought provoking, I guess. You get twenty four hours on each, so you're you get you're dying whether you're like here at the start to live out your life or. And we're so saying this the beginning start of is the start of humanity or the start of just the Earth itself. The Earth, so the 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 Big Bang. I guess I'd go with the end. I feel like the Big Bang be bore be boring. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a mystery that you would know. Yeah. I, how it all actually happened. I already happened. know that from my previous question. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Would you rather never have to pay to travel or never have to pay to eat? Travel? Like flights? Like flying? Yeah, like free oh, flights yeah. or no, free flights. food. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Okay. Not, but when you fly, you still got to pay oh. for lodging. Cool. Cars, no, okay. no. Uh, I think this weekend I'm just gonna 
fly over to yeah let's go for let's go for the philippines this weekend yeah cool okay but then what how much does that cost to stay at a place and then do well, activities? in the philippines not much <laughs> yeah that's true but what if you want if you want to go anywhere that's you know first second world. you know how much vacations would be like or or how easier it would be to to plan and do things on a vacation if the flight fare was free oh my god so what if we caveat that with the food on vacation isn't free oh i guess it would right be. i'm paying for it yeah so yeah all you're getting is travel i like i'm so cool you got a like a three hundred dollar round trip flight but you still have like a six hundred dollar hotel stay you're spending like four hundred dollars on i'm not, I'm not going to lexington in kentucky for three i'm going like <laughs> i'm going like first class to paris i'm going first class to england like it's like so okay so 1200 no, 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 no. but then no, no, if no, no, you're no, going no, no. if you're going David. there you have to multiply if i, if I want like a food. first class or even like a business class ticket overnight we're talking close to 10 grand for a ticket I don't the ones with true. the beds that recline and you have your oh, own room. So why are you going first? Because it's free. <laughs> but you, so that's the thing. you don't. But you don't have to go first. It's free. Class. Like you go could ahead. you could go to Paris for like fifteen hundred bucks, and then while you're there, all the food is free. All I have to pay for is my hotel and my food and anything that I do. Yeah, which is going to be cheaper, probably more than a cheap plane ticket. Yeah, but I wouldn't go cheap. I'd get first class, business class for everything. But so you're you're splurging on the flight when you could be splurging on the vacation itself. No, just the food of the vacation. Right. So you're gonna spend ten ten grand. So you go free. I'm not spending ten grand on food when I go to a place. That's that's you choosing. That's you choosing to go ten grand. You could get there for fifteen hundred, and then your three thousand worth of food could be free. But instead, you're gonna get the ten grand for free and pay double for food what you would pay for an economy ticket i could manage i, I okay <laughs> look if i'm in paris <laughs> we're gonna eat that yeah McDonald's. exactly give me the la big mac yeah yeah absolutely but that's i feel like that uh, it's it it's, seems like you're getting your joy out it's of not, the flight and it's not, not to say that paris. i wouldn't go to like you know a local place or even a fine dining place once when i'm there but i'm not going and spending five bills on every single dinner that i have I'm right, but you go to a fine dining place once, half, and that's like half your economy ticket. Travel easy. Okay, that's so easy. I'm not mad at it. I just I had to. I had to. That's so easy. A what else you got? Would you rather be Batman or Spider Man? Oh, uh, think about your off time. Yep, I was. <laughs> Batman's rich as fuck. Yeah, I'm going to go billionaire playboy Batman. Yeah, you got to. Although, being Spider-Man would be sweet. Like, you don't need money to just, like, fucking go swinging around the city. It'd be cool, but I feel like my life would be a lot easier as Batman. Probably. Also because he doesn't, Batman doesn't have any, like, superpowers. No. So, I feel like if you have a superpower, I feel like you would feel obligated, like, oh, I gotta use this for the good of humanity. So, like, if you, David, if you have don't you never have seen any... Spider Man? Right, but I'm saying he has a superpower. Wait, wait, wait. I want you to quote what Uncle Ben says to Peter Parker, which is exactly what you were just saying. But what does he say? But they, you could also be a villain. Well, no, 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 no. What should does I, he should say? Should I do it in my old person voice? Yes. With, with great power comes. Great responsibility. <laughs> but villains have Maybe powers, it was a- too. It might have it been Ant-Man. It was Ant-Man. Well, yeah. Well, you- at least in the Tobey Maguire movie, it was Ant-Man. But, yeah. like, you could be a villain. Point being that if you're Batman, you don't have a superpower. Like, he just does this. She's like, mm, f- I'm bored. I'll just go fucking save lives. Well. But, like, you don't have that obligation to... Like, if you have a power, you're like, I got to use this, whether it be for good or evil. Batman is just like, I'm fucking rich. No, he does have the obligation because Gotham, he sees the city he loves and lives in and grew up in going down the toilet. And he has the resources, he has the ability to help and stop 
that from happening. Yeah. So he also has an obligation. Yeah, but so does Marshall Just Mathers. Different. And Detroit's still a shithole. Mm. Little <laughs> bit of a different, but I see where you're it's going. It's not. With he's got he's got the money, <laughs> the resources. He knows everybody. He could make Detroit a better place. <laughs> a little different. <laughs> I disagree. Batman, Eminem, I mean, tomato, tomato. Well, I don't see much of a difference. Maybe Alfred, but that's about mm. it. Yeah. I'm going to a Reddit thread that's, what's the hardest would you rather question you've ever been asked? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Oh, shit. Would you rather have a horizontal butt crack or a vertical mouth? <laughs> the dude said, horizontal butt will clap every time you go downstairs. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's, uh, oh, I'm crying. That's great. Um, that's awesome. I'd have to go with the butt crack, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, just, just, uh, nobody knows, right? Nobody knows. Yeah. Unless you're going downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Would you rather have to pay for everything in pennies or have to use a pogo stick as your only method of transportation? <laughs> it's got to be the pennies, but. Just now, think about it. Say you buy, say you buy a, a mattress online. No, no, I'm not even thinking that. I'm thinking about like stuff I actually buy, like my bills and like all that that yeah, I do that's online. Yeah, but I'm okay. Say you go to buy a car, you know how many fucking pennies you need? Yeah, I'd have to rent a freaking. You have to buy a car to buy site. a car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. But okay, you want to go home and visit family in Maryland? Oh, guess what? You got a pogo stick your way there? Absolutely not. I'd rather go through the hassle of the pennies. So this is also to say. That you don't you don't just have all the pennies like you gotta hit like six hundred coin stars or something to get change for all your bills. Uh, I'm just gonna jump off a building. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing either. With, off, off, with a pogo <laughs> stick, right? Yeah, and a bag full of pennies. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Would you rather have denim skin or live in a bag of milk? <laughs> Who thinks of this craziness? Uh, it's got to be the skin, right? Like that's, well, like a living so in a bag. Like, like, you'd be like Bubble Boy, but it'd like be like it, filling up with milk. If you asked a Canadian, which would you rather? They'd be like syrup. So the only option is milk. No, because a a Canadian tuxedo is uh, denim. So yeah, you know, they're they're very yeah yeah yeah. That's anyway, fair. Shoom. Not this one said like, would you rather have pot roast or Philly cheesesteak for dinner? Hmm. Depends. It, it was my mom cooking because then neither. <laughs> I hope you tell her about this podcast after this episode. <laughs> she knows yeah. that she can't cook. <laughs> so just to give you a heads up, I'm not going to tell you when it's going to be or what it's going to be, but there's going to be a segment on one of these episodes where I ask you questions to get your okay. answer that I've already yeah. asked your mom to see what she Fuck. thinks your answer is going to be. I don't know what the questions are, when it's going to happen, but I thought of that the other day. I was like, I wonder how much she knows about her son. Would you rather eat a spoonful of ice cream that tastes like shit or a spoonful of shit that tastes like ice cream? Would the consistency of the shit that tastes like ice cream be shit I think consistency? It's, I think it's all just equal. I think it probably has the same it, it's just consistency. Flavor. Of, it's just flavor. Yeah, it's actual shit that I, tastes like ice cream or ice cream that tastes like shit I'd rather eat the shit that tastes like ice cream huh I just wouldn't look wouldn't look yeah. what if it and smelled just, like shit but tasted like ice cream and then the other one smells like ice cream even though but tastes like it shit it tastes like shit yeah nah, I'm still going with the taste just, just hold your nose call today not even hold my nose just as soon as it hits my mouth I'm like no, oh. you still be smelled on the way to your mouth, though. Chocolate chip cookie dough, we're great. We're chilling. That's fair. All right, well, thanks, everybody, for joining. Sweet. Uh, 
Especially yeah. if you had lasted the whole time and got into this eating shit and whatnot. I'm surprised we didn't get in there within 10 minutes of the podcast. It took us that yeah, long. I'm sure we'll start if we keep up this pregame. And did you take that pregame of Crown? That's a yes. I haven't done a podcast without pregaming, David. What do you think this is? Thanks for the advice, asshole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, like, subscribe, comment, follow us everywhere. Except in life, because that's creepy. Got anything to add? Cheers. <laughs> See you, everybody. <laughs>